Welcome in the 13th episode. Today we will finish implementing our searching word list. So we will display the word in the in the prefab and also we will start to work on the logic to check if the selected word is correct or not. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future video. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open our project and first of all, let's go to the scenes and open the game scene. Now let's go to the resource folder, go to the prefabs and open the searching word prefab. So inside this prefab we will need to add few more elements. So right click on this searching word, UI and an image. And I will just call this image line. And now let's go to our graphics, then game screen. And you should have the cross line sprite. So grab the sprite and drop it into the source image. And then let's press the set native size. So you should have the cross line like that. Okay. So now let's select this object and let's just turn it off. Okay. So we have the line which is going to cross our word. Now let's add some text. So right click on the searching word UI text and move this text above. So text should be above the line and then let's put some text. I'll put I'll put some random text, maybe home. So I will change the font size to be 35. I will keep the font to Arial. Let's make it uh, aligned in the middle. And let's ma make the width to be 292 and the height to be 94. So basically the width and the height should be exactly the same as the width and the height of our searching word. Okay, you can change the color if you like, or you can just modify this text a bit more, but I think I will leave it as it is. So now let's press this back button and then let's cl click save. Okay, so now when you start the game, you should have the home writing everywhere. So as you see, the home is displayed and everything is, is scaled appropriately. So now let's replace this writing with the correct word which we're going to search. So let's go to our scripts folder and then let's open our word searching word script. So let's first of all remove all of these comments. And I will also remove this update function. Then let's uh, put some public variables. So first one will be public text. display text. As you see, the text is not recognized. This is because we didn't include the Unity UI. So right at the top, I will put using. Unity engine.ui. OK, so now the, now the text is fine. So let's add one more. So public image. And it's going to be the cross line. And then one private variable, which will be private. String. And it's going to be our word. At the bottom, I will add two functions. So first one will be private. Void on enabled. And then below will be On disable. Okay, so we need on enable and on disable function. And then below that, I will put the public function public void set word. And this function will accept the string word. Okay. And inside this function, we want to assign our word with the word which we pass. And also, we want to set the display text dot text with the word. And then, of course, below that, we want to put another private function void correct correct word. And we want to pass the string 
word and also we want to pass list of integers and I'm gonna call this list square indexes okay so we're gonna pass the list of the all of the squares which we select which make made make up this word so now we want to check if our word is equal make sure you put double equal sign word so if it is we want to cross the cross the word so cross line dot game object dot set active and let's pass it through okay let's save everything and let's go to the game events we will need to add one more event so i will scroll right at the bottom and let's put another event which will be public delegate void and this is going to be the correct word and let's pass string word and then list of the integers and this is going to be the square indexes okay and then we need to create public static event correct word on correct word and then public static void correct word method correct word method and we of course need to pass the same argument so I will just copy this argument from here and just paste it inside this function and we need to change this name correct words method and then inside this method we want to check if our on correct words is not equal to null if it's not then we want to call the on correct word and we want to pass our word and our square indexes okay so that's it for this event and now I will copy this the separator and just post, put it down okay so let's save everything and now let's switch back again to our grid square uh, actually to our searching word and inside our on enable and on disable function we want to assign the correct word function to our newly created event so inside the on enable I will call the game events dot on correct word plus equal and let's copy this correct word okay and I will do the same inside the on disable I will just copy this line of code paste it in the on disable and make sure you replace this plus with this minus so we're gonna unsubscribe from this on correct word event okay so now we have attached ourselves to this event but this event is not triggered yet so we need to trigger this event and we're going to do that from our word checker so inside the word checker go to the private word check word function and we have already f statement to check if our current word is the same as the searching word so if it is then we want to trigger the event so inside this f statement i will put the game events dot correct word method and we want to pass our word and we want to pass the correct square list okay so we want to trigger our event then we want to set the word to be empty and then we want to clear our correct square list so clear okay so make sure you're clearing the list after you calling the event not before because otherwise the, the list of the indexes will be empty so now let's open the words searching word list class and inside the searching word list let's go to the function create word objects so inside this function we currently setting the the position and the scale for our searching word 
and over here we also gonna ser uh, set the text so inside this function inside the for loop right at the bottom I will call the words at index dot get component and we want to get the searching word dot set word and now we want to get the current game data dot selected board data dot searching search words at index dot word okay so we're gonna we're gonna take the word from our list so now when you save everything and when you go back to unity when you press play there is a issue so as you see this problem is indicating that something has not been initialized okay and i think this is because we have forgot to set our element inside the prefab so let's go to the project and let's go to the resources then prefabs and let's open the searching words so when you open this prefab as you see our display text and the cross line is not set so we're gonna grab our text component and drop it in the display text and also we're gonna grab our line and drop it into into the cross line so once you've done this let's press the small arrow and then click save okay and now let's start the game again and as you see we have our summer and then winter of course because we didn't I didn't set different word so let's try set something different I will stop this game and let's go to our resources data puzzles puzzle one and let's change this text to be whatever whatever writing you like animal then I will just put maybe dinner and I will just remove rest of them okay so I think that's enough and then let's uh, actually clear our board and I will put some of this uh, text inside the inside the board so let's add the summer first summer animal let's put the cat dog and i think that's enough we're not going to put all of them so now let's uh, press fill up with random and let's make sure you put two upper so we have all 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 of the letters are uppercase and now let's press file and save and then file save project and now when we start the game we should have our summer animal autumn cat and all of the writing which we put inside the list and now let's we uh, if we find this let's say summer so summer as you see the summer is crossed out but there is still no indication on the board that we have found this summer writing so let's try to find the cat it's crossed out then let's find the animal animal dog as you see the correct writing is crossed out once you find it we still need to highlight this letter so let's go back to our to our code let's go to the scripts and then open the games uh, grid square class so inside the grid square class we want to go to the on enable function and then we want to put the game events dot on on correct word plus equal and now we just put the correct word correct word and let's copy this line of code and put it inside the on disable function and make sure you just put this minus here instead of the plus and now we need to implement this function so we just copy this correct word let's scroll down below the on disable I will put the private void correct word and we need to pass the the same argument as our event accepting so string word 
and then of course we need to put the list of the integer and this is going to be the square indexes okay so now we want to check if the current index of our current square is included inside this list so let's scroll up as you see we have our index already specified so inside the correct word function we're gonna check if underscore selected and square index dot contains and let's pass our index so if this list contain our the index of the current square we're gonna set the correct is equal to true and displayed image dot sprite is equal to correct letter data dot image and then we want to set the outside of the f statement we want to set the selected is equal to false and we want to set the clicked is equal to false okay and now the uh, there is one more thing which we need to check let's uh, go to our set index and as you see the set index is currently not called by anyone okay so we need to go now to our words grid class and go to the spawn grid squares function this function and inside our else statement when we actually setting our square list and setting the positions we need to add one more line of code so right at the at the bottom i will just call the square list at square square list dot count minus one dot get component we want to get the grid square and we want to call the set index and we want to pass the index as the square list dot count minus one okay so make sure you calling this function inside our spawn grid square in the word grid class okay so once you set this function now let's save everything let's go back to unity and let's see what we have so once the project compiled press play and now when we select the summer as you see the summer is changed color to to green so we know we found the summer let's do the same for the dog dog found cat animal so our game is actually playable now so as you see we can find the words and once you find any letter and any letter is highlighted if you try to highlight it again the letter is going back to the green because it is a part of the of the word which we found so i think that's it for this episode so our game is pretty much completed in terms of the basic functionality in the next episode we're going to concentrate on the timer and then scoring system and also we're going to implement some more variation of the of the puzzles so if you like this series please consider subscribing to this channel and leave a like if you have any problem with implementing this this project please let me know in the comment below this video so thanks for watching and i will see you again in the next episode